What's up guys? So it's been a long while since I've updated you on my tidying journey. Today I'm going to talk about the huge category of miscellaneous stuff, aka kimono. So if you guys are new and you have no idea what the heck I'm talking about, you can check out my entire KonMari playlist right here. I have so many videos on tidying your life the KonMari way. So the miscellaneous category was huge and I did get stuck a couple of times throughout the process. I will explain why and how I got stuck later on in the video, but first I just want to jump in because I have a lot of footage to show you guys. So I started off with my CD collection. In my room I have this CD rack that doubles as a room light and I've had this for over 10 years. It's stuffed with the CDs that I've bought in my lifetime and it just brings back a lot of good memories. I also have this stack of random burn CDs from back in the day. This is pre-iPod days. So the first step is to take everything off the racks and onto the floor. As I was going through some old mixtapes, I realized this category could be considered mementos, but I just decided to group it in the miscellaneous category anyway. So as I was tidying, I decided to look up some of these songs on Spotify just so I could save them digitally because that's how I listen to my music now. Afterward, I put back the CDs on the rack organized by category and there was plenty of room to spare. Next up was tackling my beauty products. So everything in my restroom, my makeup, hair products, skincare, random miscellaneous stuff. I knew I had a lot of old makeup and trash to go through so I just dumped everything onto the floor and started going one by one. I didn't even bother to film that much of it because I was so into just getting rid of the things that I didn't want, the things that didn't make me happy. I went on like this, tidying small categories whenever I found pockets of time. I realized that tidying really brings me joy and it makes me feel very relaxed. So whenever I was feeling frustrated or off about anything, I would just make myself tidy a small category and I would feel better after that. Okay, here's my electronics drawer after tidying. Um, I have my DS, some phone cases, an external hard drive. I do like to keep my boxes for precious electronics. So camera, lens, iPad, iPhone, headphones, my old mic, some cords are in here. This is another lens. This pouch is all for camera stuff, mini tripods, chargers, lens, whatever. This is the electronic waste box. We're gonna recycle all of these pagers. Music stuff that's broken, laptop chargers that are broken, old camera, etc., etc. Also, I found a lot of coins while tidying, so it's a good idea to have a bucket to keep all your coins in and you can exchange them later. Later on, I got to my piano area, which was hard because everything is sentimental to me. So I kept a good amount of stuff. I could tell that we're getting closer and closer to mementos, which is the last and final category in the KonMari system. Old flashcards to recycle. This is my old piano bag. It makes me very happy. <laughs> and some books. Honestly, I can't get myself to throw away any of these. They all mean so much to me. This is my favorite book of music because Chopin is my favorite composer. All of these songs are fire. <laughs> and here's a list of scales I had to practice every single day. This old metronome brings back a lot of memories, but it does not bring me joy. So. Oh. 
To be honest, I wasn't really planning on making this video. Um, I got stuck in the middle of tidying miscellaneous and I almost did not tidy for two months. So the reason is because I finished tidying my own miscellaneous stuff but a lot of the things on that list are like shared items and I do live at home where I share a lot of stuff with my mom and my brother has a lot of stuff at home that he left here. So throughout my tidying process, my mom was like, okay, do your thing, don't touch my stuff, don't touch Elvis's stuff. So I wanted to respect their space and their things and just let it be. So I think because I kind of got into the middle of the category and stopped, I just didn't bother finishing and going on to Memento, so I just stopped tidying completely for a while. But recently, we're moving homes, so now we're packing and cleaning, and I get to help my mom and my brother tidy. So I think if you want to help someone else tidy, that person has to be there because they are the only ones who know what things bring them joy and what things don't. So I was helping my brother clean out his toys, and if it were up to to me, I would just throw out a lot of those things, but he would be like, oh, this has so many good memories and so many things made him happy and I didn't realize that. So I'm happy that I waited for him to come home to be able to go through his stuff. Same with my mom, she's kind of a hoarder and so many things make her happy, so I really had to go through the process with her. All right, that's it for this category. Stay tuned because I'm going to be posting my mementos video very soon. I'm gonna shoot that video after this, so see you guys then. Bye!